In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few things that are extremely important to know so you don't get your merch account banned, okay? Because that's the last thing you want to happen um, is basically for Amazon to take away, you know, everything that you worked for. Okay, so they, the first thing is copyright, copyrights, intellectual property, and trademarks. Okay, so it, these are very, very important to know because Amazon is super strict. They are more strict probably than any other print-on-demand company out there because they have so much to lose. They are the largest company, uh, at least retail company that I know of in the, in the world. Um, possibly the biggest company in the world. So they want very little uh, lawsuits happening against them. Okay, they're protecting themselves and they're protecting their business and their money. Okay, so just realize that and make sure you adhere to what I'm going to talk about in this video. So I'm going to try and keep this under 20 minutes um, and I'm just going to go through this relatively quickly I'm gonna go through what you need to know and I'm gonna go through some example shirts that you do not want to create and some example shirts that you can create without having a copyright issue okay because there are some things that you can create that you think would be a copyright issue and it's actually not um, and then I'm gonna go through two websites that you can use to make sure that you're checking on copyrights and trademarks and making sure that you know you're not infringing on anybody else's rights and then I'm going to actually go through you know what intellectual property is and all that kind of stuff okay so first of all there's I'm, I'm going to go through two kind of articles here and they're really good articles I, I highly suggest that you read through these um, because this uh, this Michael Essek guy um, really you know takes the legal jargon and kind of dumbs it down and makes it really easy to understand Okay, so I'm going to leave these two links to these two articles um, below this video or somewhere on this page. So make sure you take the time and read through. They're relatively short. They're not going to take you a long time, but you do have to understand this information. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, copyrights. So the first thing on this page and, and these four questions are, are relatively good and specific to t-shirts and is it okay to create designs based on movies, TV shows, or brands? And the short answer is absolutely not. Just think of if you were Steven Spielberg or one of the big movie directors or you created the Big Bang Theory or you were in Kiss the Band, okay, and people were making um, designs that were infringing on your copyright. Okay, you owned that, you created that, and they're making money off of that without giving you a percentage of the profits. Okay, that's called a license. Now, the only way you can sell uh, TV shows, bands, movies, um, type of designs is if you get a license from the, the person who owns the copyright. And that's not gonna happen with Amazon. They won't let you even they won't even let you send in a letter saying hey I can you know I can sell this brand like if you wanted to sell the Marvel brand Marvel has their own brand already on merch by Amazon okay so they're not gonna let anybody else really get into that um, area alright so is it okay to create designs based on movies TV shows or bands absolutely not even if you see designs on Amazon that are related to bands movies or TV shows do not upload your own because that person is in violation of someone's copyright if they do not have the permission to sell so what if I want to draw a celebrity and sell that on a t-shirt celebrities are off-limits you cannot do that either okay if you wanted to draw Beyonce on a t-shirt and you know sell it then you know you're gonna be you're gonna be in some legal trouble yourself and Amazon's gonna take your account away um, pretty quickly alright so don't do any celebrity stuff um, some people got their account taken away from uh, with some sort of song that she had out a while ago and they were doing a mashup or a parody on and it said fiance instead of Beyonce I have no idea what it said but a lot of people got their accounts taken away because of that all right and it didn't even say Beyonce on it it just said fiance um, and that was it okay so um, do I need to register my work to make sure it is copyrighted this is actually no you do not need to register your work with the government or um, anyone really as long as you 
publish your work, publish your design, that's um, that means you automatically have that copyright because of the Copyright Act. Or I forget what it's called, but there was a Copyright Act, and it said that as soon as someone publishes an original piece of work, whether it be text, um, images, artwork, designs, digital or physical, then you automatically have a copyright to that work. Here's the great thing about about that that act if you create an original design and it starts selling well on Amazon you can actually keep searching for that term um, let's say and I'm gonna use this example I'm gonna use Trump let's say that you came up with this um, Trumpkin design and it was selling really well and you were the first one to publish it so if you were the first one to publish it that means you have the copyright to this design all right maybe you have the copyright to trumpkin the word um, or the actual design on it and it starts selling really well and you see some other copycats coming up on um, Amazon specifically then you can actually contact Amazon and say hey I actually published this this is my idea my work um, can you please remove it and most likely they will remove it if the design is very similar to what this design is okay so you can actually you know take the market yourself if you wanted to do that if you wanted to keep you know letting Amazon know about all the copycats now if if it's something that's really taken off you're gonna have a hard time getting all of the designs taken down that are under you know they're that are in violation of your copyright but that's something that you can use to your advantage if you do um, come across something like that okay um, so no, you don't need to um, register a, any of your designs to, to have a copyright. You automatically have a copyright once it's published to Amazon or another um, website. Uh, what about trademarks and intellectual property? Now, trademarks and, and IP are, um, are interesting because trademarks you can actually look up. You can look at trademarks are you actually have to pay the government to get a trademark. So McDonald's has a trademark on their logo and the McDonald's word. OK, and probably the colors and all that kind of stuff. All right. Um, a lot of people have trade like the NFL has trademarks on all their stuff. Um, all the NFL teams have trademarks and those are actually registered. All right. And then intellectual property just means if you're trying to sell something that is obviously geared towards some sort of fan of something like a fan of a movie or a fan of a TV show, but you're not using the colors, or you're not using the logo, but it's pretty obvious that you're using somebody else, somebody else's trademark or copyright um, in order to sell that design. You know, it's marketed to those people that like that movie or or sports team or whatever um, then that's intellectual property and you can get in trouble for that also so you want to stay away from that all right so let me go into um, parodies fair use and mashup make sure you just read about this a parody design is fair use and therefore legal right actually it's not fair use is just a legal defense okay so the only way to know whether a design falls under fair use is to determine that in court. Don't do parodies and mashups and all that kind of thing, especially on Amazon. Now, what I want to get into is I'm going to go through some example t-shirts and then, um, you know what, actually before that, I'm going to go into, you know, how to search for trademarks and how to search for um, trademarks at the USPTO, okay? So this website, tmhunt, tmhunt.com, you can actually type in any phrase that you want to look up and see if it's actually registered as a trademark so if you wanted to see if you wanted to create this Trumpkin kind of design or something similar to it and you want to see if Trumpkin is actually trademarked the first thing that you want to do is actually go in and go to TM hunt and type in you know whatever you want to search for okay so it says that Trumpkin is not trademarked okay so well that's a good thing the second thing I would do is to I would double check this and I would go to if you type in USPTO and Google it's the first uh, first link there and we're gonna do a trademark search so in the in the right over here under trademarks we're gonna go to tests it's the trademark search we're gonna do a basic word search and we're gonna type in Trumpkin okay and it comes up because there's only one out of one record so it's a word so Trumpkin is trademarked under goods and services we want to make sure that clothing or shirts or anything like that so I'm just gonna search for clothing nothing comes up with clothing I'm gonna type in shirt 
Um, let's type in design. Make sure design isn't in there. Um, that's about it. I just make sure clothing is not in the goods and services. Okay, so basically the Trump the Trumpkin name is under games, parlor games, board games, any arcade games, um, swimming gloves, uh, some sports stuff here. It doesn't look like it's trademarked specifically for shirts. So it's a standard character mark, which just means it's it's the characters. It's not an actual logo or anything like that. And let's see if it's live. It is live. All right. So this is a this is a gray area. You know, I don't think this uh, this Trumpkin type of um, trademark is directly corresponding to clothing. So I would say this is okay since it doesn't come up here at all and it only comes up with one result here and there's nothing to do with clothing in this um, goods and services area. So I would I would say it's it's fine to create um, anything with Trumpkin in it. Now let's say you're you're looking for something else like if you wanted to see the term AF and I, I think it was um, trademarked at one point so if you wanted to make a bunch of birthday shirts that said 30 AF then you could actually do that and we go through the list and make sure just the word AF is um, not trademarked so all these are live on the right here you can see that they're all live and then you were just looking for in the word mark area AF only because we want to see if the AF is actually copywritten and there's a number of them because there's di or not copywritten trademark there's a number of different types of trademarks so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look at each one of these just to show you what a trade what the different trademarks actually look like so we have AF here and this is physical fitness training physical fitness providing facilities for fitness and wellness training so this is a design plus words letters and numbers so this actual design AF with the block that's what they trademarked um, so we're good there we don't just make sure you don't use it just like that this one looks like a design too so this is words letters and numbers in a stylized form so that's a design trademark so we're good there this is a character mark so this is you know AF is actually trademarked and character so you know this is it says firearms GNS firearms so this is a firearms um, type of company that one's a design because they they used a specific design there AF um, and that one's a design too so we don't need to worry about that the only one we need to worry about is this word mark one and um, it's a you know standard character mark I believe we're okay with the the mark drawing code of four I think we're looking for three four I'm pretty sure so um, let me go in and I'm gonna see if I can find any of those just to show you no that one's a drawing code three that one's a drawing code four so patriotic AF okay here we go so if you wanted to create um, let's say a fourth of July shirt um, that said patriotic AF then you wouldn't be able to do that because here's the clothing right here you cannot put patriotic AF on any clothing because it because it is trademarked by this person whoever the owner in California trademarked that all right and it is live so if it was dead you, it would be fine but it is live and it says clothing so we cannot create that all right so this right here you can because it just says firearms so if it's used on a firearm then you that would be a, a trademark infringement but there's no clothing there so we do see clothing in the goods and services section <clears throat> we can't use patriotic af in any of our clothing especially for the fourth of july so that is how you use the uspto um, and tm hunt now if let's say let's let's patriotic let's just type in patriotic af and you can see that it's live it says registered on and it says not registered so it was filed on november 8th of 2018 and you can actually click this link and it'll take you right to the uspto and it says it says awaiting examination so the trademark application has been accepted and is met and has not yet been assigned to the examiner so Basically, if it says anything that leads you to question, question the actual word patriotic AF, I wouldn't 
you know, if it's filed, I wouldn't do anything with it because once it's live, then you're going to have to take down all your designs that have patriotic AF on it anyway because you're infringing on that trademark. So if it's filed and not registered yet, then I would I would still stay away from it, okay? So make sure you're using TM Hunt and make sure you're using the USPTO website. So what I want to get into now is a few designs that you can and cannot create okay and one is the parody shirts all right so this is a shirt that says zombies eat flesh obviously it's a zombies uh, uh, shirt but you can obviously see that it's using the logo of subway all right subway eat fresh is their logo or is their you know catchphrase type deal and zombies eat flesh is very very similar to that so I would definitely stay away from this type of shirt, and I'm not sure why this hasn't been taken down yet. It hasn't, and this is definitely a, a merch shirt, okay? So stay away from, let's see what the bestseller rank is on this. So it's ranking 1.4 million, so it's not selling a lot, but still I would definitely stay away from, you know, designs that kind of mash up two things, zombies and subway. You don't want to do that, okay? Here's another one that's kind of a mashup that's a parody. It's a cat shirt that says hiss instead of kiss, and then it has all the cats on it. This is something you want to stay away from too. This is not a um, this is not a merch design. This is some other company, the House Broken Clothing. They may have the license to sell Kiss clothing, uh, but even you know, but working with merch, you're not going to be able to do that. So stay away from you know designs like this. This is obviously a cat shirt, and it's geared towards um, people who like uh, Kiss. All right, or Kiss and cats at the same time, or just cats. And it, you know, it looks cool. Here's another parody one. This is Harry Potter. This is another cat shirt, but it's, you know, it's using the text that looks like the Harry Potter logo. And it's using a cat that looks like Harry Potter. You know, this is obviously geared towards the people who like Harry Potter and like cats. So this is another thing that you do not want to um, get into and don't want to publish because this is what's going to get your account banned. So don't do anything like that. And here's another one. This is in the sports niche. Um, you know, anything to do with sports. This says fly Eagles fly and it's obviously geared towards Eagles fans, Philadelphia Eagles fans. It's something that is not, it's probably not trademark. And if we wanted to look, we can go to TM Hunt. Dot com and if we type in fly eagles fly it might not be excuse me it might not be trademarked oh it is okay so um so fly eagles fly uh has been accepted okay so that was uh 2018 of this year the non-final action has been issued okay so um that's actually copywritten now so you can't do anything with you know fly eagles fly on it but if i had a shirt that said go pack go which is a green bay packers like slogan thing if i wanted to put that in let's say go pack go now it go pack go doesn't have packers in it it doesn't have green bay packers it doesn't have you know maybe it doesn't have the exact colors um, or anything like that but if it just says go pack go on it you're still going to get flagged because it's obviously geared towards that um yeah and go pack go filed on um november 17 2017 so even that is um a no-go all right so here's another one another uh, uh parrot not parody but this is directly related to a tv show so if you watch always sunny you know um uh, dayman the whole song and whatever thing he came up with dayman it says dayman fighter of the nightman champion of the sun um if you know anything about this then you know that it's directly from that show and that's automatic copyright because they published that that is their work you cannot sell anything like this Okay, um, you're gonna see a lot of shirts like this, all right, and you're gonna see like um, the Run DMC. Actually, let me search for it. So the Run DMC shirts like this, um, you're gonna see a lot of people using that logo in different stuff, like Run Run CMD. I think is Run Command. Yeah. So Run CMD. This is for people who do coding and computers 
crap. Um, this is a trademark infringement, all right? There's definitely a trademark on Run DMC, and all these shirts are in um, violation of that. So make sure you are, you know, keeping up with that and, and not publishing those types of designs. Now, the one thing that you can do that you don't really think that you could is actual um, political shirts, all right? So political people are actually... Um, they're considered public domain, okay? So anything to do with um, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama, George Bush, or any of those political figures that you have um, in your in local communities or state um, people, they're all public domain, so you can actually create designs like this, and that's why you see a lot of Trump shirts. Let's see, Trump shirt. That's why you see a lot of Trump shirts that are selling pretty well okay and so this is something that you can do um, the political um, thing is is all open for you and so don't worry about you know getting in trouble for creating a Trump shirt you can always do that because he's a political figure and that's public domain so we'll see you in the next video